Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert Minnis, declaring that the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas, ZNS, has come a long way in its quest to inform and educate the Bahamas from an initial analog television system that is now fully digital. Prime Minister Minnis congratulated ZNS for launching the second phase of its high-definition television system at our northern service in Freeport yesterday. The Prime Minister noted that with the advent of this new technology, it's imperative that ZNS broadcasters upgrade their knowledge and skill sets to fulfill the corporation's mandate to the country. In 1990, the Northern Television Service was introduced. And I trust that the broadcasters at the Northern Service will embrace the opportunity that this upgrade provides to improve programming in terms of technical quality and content. Let me encourage the Northern Service here in Grand Bahama to provide enhanced local programming. These may include more live interaction with New Providence in the morning television show and enhancements in regular news updates, the evening news, and television specials. Prime Minister Minnis also implored the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas to always disseminate accurate and timely news. And these days, the Bahamian people, like others around the world, are being assaulted and misled by fake news disseminated in lightning speed on social media. They are also being misled by some who have no, absolutely no, with capital N, no journalistic training, and who are quite often ill-informed or ignorant of the issues on which they presume to shape public opinion. The quality of technology is essential in your mission to inform, to educate, and to entertain. Whatever technology is used in whatever age, it is the quality of producers, directors, and journalists who make the difference in broadcasting journalism. 